Hey there. Welcome to a little science experiment, a quick and easy one. Um, wanted to give some help with uh, a project that was for April 6th or April 10th. It's uh, called thermal insulators. The term insulator is just simply something that stops something from escaping. So in this case, thermal is keeping heat in, a thermal insulator. So we're going to test a few things to help with that. We got a couple of things in the item here. We have um, a bucket of ice. Now, I know in the paper it said snow, but it's getting to springtime and snow is getting a little harder to come by. So we have ice. We have four items from the household. We have a piece of paper. We have a metal uh, book stand. We have a t-shirt. We have a plastic bag. We also have a bag of Doritos, but that's just my snack. Mm. Oh, good. <laughs> and a timer. So, according to the procedures, it says place your hand directly on the snow. Your goal is to get a control. A control simply means something that is not modified, um, that gives you a basic place to start from. So, if you're trying to figure out how much heat leaves, depending on which thing, which fabric or material is on your hand, best to start with nothing at all. So we take our timer and we press start and we leave our hand on there as long as you can until it's uncomfortable. Now safety first, don't leave it on too long or it will really, really start to hurt your hand. Now it's up to 16 seconds right now, and it is really starting to hurt. Let's stop it at 20.62 seconds, and we write that down. We reset the time. So now we're going to take an item and place it between my hand and the ice. Now, my other hand's still cold, so it's going to change uh, my ability to last. So I'm going to use my right hand instead of what I had used my left, because this is a bit warmer. So we place the paper on top. We write that as the name of the item. And I press start. Now already I can feel it's a little bit different. It's taking a little bit longer to get really uncomfortable. Already we're up to 14 seconds. Now we're past 20 seconds. We're past the time where we got uncomfortable. Oh, 27.45 seconds. So we write that down. Now we'll keep going. Switching hands again to help make it easier. The plastic bag. We place the bag on. Now it's up to you, um, in this case, if your item needs to be crumpled up or flat. So now I'm pressing start. This has much less insulation than the paper is. It's already feeling very, very cold. 14 seconds. Twenty. Well, I think this is actually going to last a little longer. Twenty-seven seconds. And 40 seconds. Whew. Oh, so that was interesting. Wonder why paper lasted a little bit less than plastic. Okay, next one. Metal. Now metal has an interesting ability because of its ability to conduct heat. 
Conducting heat is the ability to transfer heat through touching, which is what you're doing mostly with your hand. So will it transfer, will it, um, transfer heat from my hand through it very quickly? Remember, heat always flows out. You can't get cold. You just get less heat. All right, here we go. You can feel it getting cold. I think this one is going to last a lot longer, but we'll see. 22 seconds. Thirty-five, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, but it is starting to get a little bit painful here. I think we're going to stop it at 50.49 seconds. Now a shirt. Will it last more or less than the metal? We'll have to see. So resetting. I'm going to try to use my other hand this time. Feels quite warm actually. So we'll see if it can last beyond 50 seconds, but already at about 14 seconds it feels much warmer than the others. Twenty seconds. Thirty-two. Forty-one. Fifty. 50. And we're going to go ahead and stop it at approximately one minute. It was not even close to being cold. As you can see, I wrote down everything. And then you get to the questions. Based on what we did, what makes for a good thermal insulator? Well, why did the shirt and the metal hold the heat longer? Why do they feel less painful over time? What are the best materials? What are the best designs? Something about the shirt makes it remarkably different than the others. And how could you have improved the experiment to get more accurate results? So that's up to you. Um, so write your best answers, and we'll call it good. And that concludes the thermal insulator experiment.